At the end of the Hall of Honour is the Library of Parliament, a showpiece of high Victorian Gothic Revival architecture. Inside, the variety of textures, colours and handcrafted details are typical of this architectural style. In the centre of the circular domed room stands a white marble statue of the young Queen Victoria. Thousands of flowers, masks and mythical beasts have been carved into the white pine panelling and the galleries display the coats of arms of the seven provinces that existed in 1876 when the library was built. The library's circular shape and the use of galleries and alcoves were the inspiration of the first parliamentary librarian, Alpheus Todd. He recommended that the building be spacious and lofty and wisely advised that it be separated from the centre block by a corridor to protect it from fire. Fire has posed a serious threat to the library on several occasions in its history. On February 3, 1916, around 9 p.m., a small fire started in the Commons Reading Room in the centre block. It soon grew to a raging blaze that claimed seven lives and reduced all but the northwest wing and the library to a charred shell. Had an employee not closed the library's iron doors in time, thousands of irreplaceable books would also have been lost. The library has more than 17 linear kilometers of materials in its collection, including books, periodicals, government documents, CD-ROMs, DVDs, and videos. It offers information, reference, and research services to parliamentarians and their staff, parliamentary committees, associations and delegations, and senior Senate and House of Commons officials. Although its surroundings speak of another era, the Library of Parliament uses the tools of the electronic age to support parliamentarians in their work. The skilled staff handles hundreds of requests for information and reference assistance daily and provides visitor and outreach services to the public on behalf of parliamentarians. <laughs>